Welcome to Productivity in Real Life, where we talk productivity applications like Evernote, Notion, Todoist, Microsoft Office, and so many more, along with actually putting all of these applications to use in real-world examples. If you're new to the channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Tonight, let's talk about Evernote and how to spruce up your Evernote notes a little bit. You might have notes that are web clipped articles and uh, they may look fine all on their own and, uh, and you're content with that. But you may be creating to-do lists or task lists or just general information notes and you want to spruce them up a little bit. You might be, you know, lured in with Notion and their custom graphics that, uh, that you can get. Um, just with the click of a button here and we can change what goes on reposition it and it's it's kind of a nice feature it it dresses up your notes in notion quite nicely but what can we do if we're Evernote users well we can put in whatever graphic we want just as almost as easily as what you can with notion all it takes is just finding a graphic that you want to use and uh, for me I like going over to Reddit and jumping onto their widescreen wallpaper thread or board whatever you want to call it scroll through there and find an image here's here's something right here so we'll just click on that open it up Nice stormy skies, a lone tree in the middle of a field. Actually, I guess this is maybe a golf course. Save the image to our computer. We'll put it on our desktop just for ease of finding. Hit save. Then we're going to jump over into Evernote here. Create a new note and drop that image in. Now you might be saying, well, that's a little bit big. Well, yeah, we can right click, annotate this image. Once you've got your image annotator up, click on the cropping tool and just resize it a little bit to make it look how you want. We'll maybe go with that right there. Close that. And there's our image header. And we can go Storm Chasing Log Book. Like we can jump back over and find an emoji here. Here we go copy, paste, we'll make it a little bit bigger, there we go. There's my storm chasing logbook all ready to go in Evernote. Custom graphic, our header, and a little emoji there just to give it a splash of some fun if you will. Not quite the same as in Notion but you get the idea. It's very easy to do and like I say I like jumping over into Reddit and grabbing the wallpapers out of the widescreen wallpaper forum and there's there's lots in here to choose from just a matter of finding something and downloading it to your computer desktop and dropping it into Evernote and then a simple annotate your image which is a right click annotate resize it or crop it down a little bit. So that's one way of doing that. Another way which you would have seen off the start there with my uh, post lockdown tasks so another thing I like to do is add in custom titles into that image and that's also super easy. If 
you've got your image that you want. We've downloaded our stormy skies there. Let's do a different one. Let's grab this bird right here. Save the image to our desktop. Now if you use this website here, canva.com, you'll have to create yourself an account and once you're set up, go to create a design. Custom dimensions, we'll go with 1500 by 300. That's usually a decent sized image for your banners in, in Evernote. Create a design. They don't have anything pre-built for that size, but they've got some different templates. Each of these lets you drag an image into each of these different spots. So just for simplicity, we're going to leave it as this. We're going to go to our Windows desktop here. Here's our bird that we downloaded. And just drop it in. can add some text. There's a variety of different formats to play with. We'll just drop that in right here. Change it up. We'll just do that. And we'll maybe do May 2020. Calgary, Alberta. Adjust the position a little bit. Hit download. We'll leave it as a PNG. Leave everything basically the same here. PNG is suggested. Don't change the size or anything. And just hit download. Prepares your design. Save it onto your desktop here my bird watching log PNG hit save and there's our file layer that it just downloaded you can close that out jump back to Evernote make a new note and just drag that in off of your desktop and there you go and now you can start your bird watching journal Fancy graphics, custom graphics with some fancy logos and text into Evernote. It's not quite the same as Notion, but you get the idea. You can spruce up a whole lot of your notes fairly quickly. We did all that in just a matter of a couple of minutes. Do that in Evernote, and you can actually even do that. Use that same graphic over in Notion if you're a Notion user. It's just a matter of change your cover image, upload, choose that same image that we just created and downloaded, and there you go. Reposition if you need to, and done. Custom graphics in Notion, custom graphics in Evernote. It takes about two minutes to do and it'll spruce up a whole lot of your notes. Makes things a lot nicer to, to look at, a lot more appealing. And if you're drawn to Notion simply because of some of the glitter, well, like I say, you can do the same thing. Oops, Notion cuts that off depending on your sizing. Evernote resizes no matter what you got going on here. But anyway, there it is.
nice quick simple way to clean up some notes in Evernote make things pop a little bit with some color and uh, and yeah let me know if in the comments section if you've got any questions otherwise thanks for watching productivity in real life and our working with Evernote series if you have any questions on the process in our videos be sure to leave your questions in the comments section below and if you haven't already be sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're first in line to catch our new videos as they're released